today. Anyway, I went shopping this morning. And let me show y'all what I got for $9. I cannot believe it because in America or anywhere else in the world, you cannot get this, these two for $9. Okay, so let me show you. So I got this black seed oil. 100% natural. And look how much it is. This is a lot. And I am one to take my black seed oil daily. And let me show you what else I got. And some coconut oil. Because this is the only thing that I moisturize my skin with. Because the body is one big pore. And so why not moisturize yourself with something you can actually eat? But I got both of these for $10. Can you believe that? So I had this meal at a um, restaurant here in Turkey. And they had vegan options. And so I've been craving this meal. So I decided I'm going to make it today. So let me show you. So I'm making my hummus from scratch. For those who are wondering what are these ingredients for. It's for hummus. So I'm about to make my hummus and make the vegetables. And I'm going to show you this delicious meal that you all should definitely try. I'm going to put my chickpeas in the blender. And some tahini. Not too much. Just enough. I need to pour some of that water out. Hold on. And some lemon. Let me, let me, let me make this. I'll be back. Now the magic happens. My hummus is now complete. So now it's time for me to chop up my vegetables. So I'll be back. So my veggies are cut. So let me add it to the pan and saute it. So my vegetables are cooking. I added a bit of alfalfa or chickpea water to it to give it a bit of steam. Instead of adding water, I added chickpea water. So I'm gonna cook this down to add my tomatoes and do the plating. So I'm adding my tomatoes now. And I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit and then I'm gonna plate. So I've laid my hummus down. And for those asking, I like my hummus a bit choppy. I like texture. Smooth hummus is cool, but I like a little texture, which is something that I was exposed to in Dubai because this Indian restaurant I used to go to, sometimes their hummus would have texture. And I actually did like it, so. And let me plate the vegetables. And voila, we don't get no more plant-based vegan than this, right? All right, so let me eat, because I am extremely hungry and been craving this meal all freaking day. Ain't no whole fucking with me.
What's going on, y'all? I just woke up. I don't know if y'all can see it in my face, but my last couple days have been super crazy. Um, I've been hella distracted, and I have not been able to sit down and really record my daily vlog. But I'm back. I can't keep, I can't get knocked off my square. Somebody sent me a message. A DM was like, Queen, we look up to you. Don't step off your pedal to address peasants anymore. Get back to the purpose. So, baby, I'm back on the purpose. So, anyway, Grand Rising, good afternoon, good evening. Um, and to all of those, because I've noticed, to all of those who have been tuning in, um, just because it's some drama going on, that's weird to me. Like, I fuck with those who tune in all the time who be around when I be posting my content and really like showing people my life as an expat. Not who told me that because it's some drama going on. Like, that's so weird to me. But anyway, we about to go shopping. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm grocery shopping, I'm gonna cook. I got a trade today. Gotta make some content. There's a few things I gotta do. So stay tuned y'all. Yeah. I got that, just woke up. I took a nap I got up and was like, I need something from the store. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to cook today. I want to cook beans, rib, red palm oil, rice. Like I'm trying to figure it out, but we're going to figure it out on the fly. So come along with me. I want to show y'all how I look going to the store. <laughs> y'all going to see why in a minute. Y'all, let me clean my camera. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to the store. And um, give me some food stuff. So come along. I real life need some gym shoes to work out in, but I don't think any of these would be sufficient because I need to get back to working out. Anyway, let's not get distracted. Let's go to the store and get what we came for. Oh, so y'all, I'm back home. I'm about to start cooking. But I just want to say this. I was just out and about, and it was this lady. Wait, let me go. So y'all, I'm back in the house. I forgot to record some more stuff on what I bought. But anyway, I'm about to start cooking. But y'all, I was just out and about, and it was this lady outside that was staring at me, right? And then she came in, and she was like, Marhaba. And I was like, Marhaba, which is like, hello, how are you, whatever, in Turkish. And she kept on like this. And I was like, what, what? Like, did someone like that? She was like, no, beautiful. And I was like, <laughs> that's the kind of energy I needed today when just strangers walk up to you and tell you beautiful. And I was like, look, my forehead is shining, a sleepy face, my nose kind of stopped up. And the only thing that someone stopped me to tell me was that I was beautiful. Let me not step off my pedestal again and address peasants and get back to being the beautiful queen that I am, honey. So anyway, let me get to cooking. I just wanted to share that story with y'all. All right. So I'm making me a smoothie real quick while I cook, but I've been missing smoothies for so long, so I had to get back to my smoothie kick, y'all. So my meal is done, so I made me some bean porch and some red palm oil rice. So I'm about to watch this market while I eat and look for an entry. I'm going to show y'all what I'm looking at right now. Hold on. So this is what I'm watching right now. I'm watching the NASDAQ. And listening to Top Step TV. Francisco, I don't so, plan on losing it today. Come on. Let's see what happens. Let's see if wrong. today is a sure red day or a green day. Man. Hopefully it's a trading, guys. Uh, green day. So I'll be back right. and show y'all anyway, my trade a little long, bit later. NASDAQ. So I'm in the trade right now. I'm seeing if it's going to fill these fair values. Um, but it's just a waiting game right now. Because price is just kind of going back and forth to the upside but let's see 
so I finished my tray for today. I caught this by up to this area right here, baby. I am so happy that I took the last year to really perfect my trading and really get serious and really understand the markets a lot better. I profited 700 today. So people have been asking me to do a trading group, which I will um, starting in February, but I just wanted to show y'all like, Trading takes patience, but once you're patient and you really, really focus on learning the market and just like being patient because patient trading is all about, you have to know the skill, but it's also about psychological. So, um, I'll be showing y'all more of my trades and my daily vlogs, but I just wanted to show you what I did today. So here you go. So my day is over. It is, what time is it? It's two o'clock. So it's 10 o'clock at night. I am about to wrap up, edit this, put this on YouTube. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all watch all of my daily blogs, all of my daily rants. I'm about to get up out of here. I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Here are three good investments I made to start off 2024. One, service industry. Invest a little bit into some tools, labor, marketing for contracts, and you can close out something. Two, foreign exchange trading. You can start off with a broker and trading platform for as little as $50 and start trading. Third is pallet wholesale or e-commerce. Uh, I got into it, just got a pallet this week, started selling things online, working out pretty well.